it's Mina. Welcome back to another nighttime pouring episode. Tonight we are going to be doing a bloom swipe, which I am super, super excited about. This is the technique that I got interested in after watching Karen Dershin from Waterfall Acrylics. And uh, she's awesome and been doing some amazing deconstructed blooms. So I have just been obsessed with the cells and I wanna play with it. I did some this afternoon. I'll show you real quick that it just, it came out so pretty. Just, I love these cells. So we're gonna be doing the same color palette. This is Golden's Permanent Maroon and Nickel Azo Gold and Olympic Gold from Modern Masters. So let's get started. Okay, so uh, the recipes for everything I'm using will be listed below. I'm just gonna tell you real quick what everything is. I have my pillow paint here, which this one is Bare Premium Plus Internal External High Gloss <laughs> mixed with some GAC 800 and this is the Ultra, Ultra Pure White. So it's pretty thick. And then next we have Golden's Permanent Maroon, which is beautiful. So this is mixed with the Deep Base and um, the Minwax Polycrylic. This is Golden's Permanent Maroon. Beautiful color. Then we have Golden's Nickel Azo Gold. So this is the Fluid Acrylics tonight. Okay, and last but not least, we're using this one, which is Modern Masters Olympic gold, okay, and it's very, very pretty, and it shows up beautifully in these, which I'm very, very happy about. It doesn't completely disappear, and it stays nice and deep. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is put our pillow down. All right. Nice. A little bit more than that. Okay. Ready? All right, now we're going to come in with the maroon. And we're going to just do a little bit in the center. Okay, and now we're going to use some of our gold, the Olympic gold. And we're going to do some nickel as a gold on top of that. Just to put a little bit of that on top of everything that's already there. Okay, now we're gonna take our spatula <laughs> and our cell activator. This is Amsterdam Lamp Black mixed with Australian Floetrol. Pretty thin. Get some paper towels to wipe that off on. Okay. Alrighty. Our cell activator on here. Spread that out nice and even. You don't want a lot on there. You just want a thin coating. Okay. Here we go. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Here we go. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, we're gonna come back in with the cell activator again and do the other side of it. Okay, I'm gonna turn this and go this way. Here we go. Second to develop. That over there and that over there. I'm bring this just a smidge closer to me so I can actually see what's happening. Okay, I really like this. I love these little tiny itty bitty cells, and then I love these bigger ones that are in a lot of black over there. But I really like this like center stripe that I get from doing two swipes on there. Because I think it's really pretty and I think it gives your eye a place to rest. I'm just gonna tilt this down just a touch before we start spinning it. 
get it kind of centered. Okay, that's looking pretty cool. We're going to put some more of our pillow paint around the edges of that. I was watching the Erica Hughes, who's amazing, <laughs> and she was like, if you don't want your paint to fly, just don't spit it so hard. So we're going to attempt that today, but not spinning it very, very fast and not getting our paint to fly. I do have a, a tub, like I mentioned last time, but this is kind of a big, this is a 16 by 16 wood panel. So if I do that, then I won't be able to get my hand in there to spin it. Okay, but this is looking awesome. I really love this center part. I love all these cells. I'm excited, okay. Okay, I guess we should spin it now. <laughs> Here we go, nice and slow and easy and let the paint fall off the edge. We might have to go a little harder than that. There we go. So now the paint instead of flying outwards is dripping down, which is fine with me. Okay, that's good. Let's go a little harder. And see now it's gonna start to fly. <laughs> okay. This is cool. I don't know if I want it to keep going off the edge, so I'm just gonna tilt it this way a little bit to kind of recenter the paint a little bit more. Okay. Let's spin it again. This is looking pretty awesome, but I do want it to kind of go off that way and I want it to go off this way too. So we're gonna spin some more, but it's opening up beautifully. And it doesn't feel like I've actually put too much paint on there that I have to tilt off or spin off a whole bunch more. It feels like I've got a good amount on there that it's covering everything. It's still fairly fluid. And my hands are opening up. Okay, I'm gonna wipe my hands off. I love this. <laughs> okay, so let's point with this thing just so I don't drip. These are amazing, these big poofy stretched out slightly cells in here. I love those. I love that. This is beautiful. That's very pretty and calming. I love that we can see the maroon by itself. I like how the gold is like over here. Oh my gosh. Can you get this part, HOA? Where the Nicolazzo gold is with that gold and on top of the white. It's just so pretty. Bob. You see bubbles pop them before. We don't set up. <laughs> okay, I'm not crazy about this little one dark spot here. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of white on this. Spin. Nice and easy. And anything that wants to open up some more, stretch out some more, go over the edge if it wants to. Pretty awesome. What do you think, Joey? It's amazing. <laughs> you like it, huh? Waterfally. That's pretty. I like the negative space on both sides too. That's cool. Okay. It's not. It doesn't feel like it's too much, which is good. All right. So I'm going to take that and put that over there. Okay. 
So we still have some paint left, so let's paint some other things. I have these um, 7 by 7 inch MDF wood blocks, so that's about an inch thick. And they come in a box of four, and I got them off of Amazon, so I'll link them in the description box for you guys. So we're going to do the same colors. We're going to do something small, though. So this one is 7 by 7 now. So we're going to start with a nice puddle of our pillow paint. do pretty much the same order but obviously much smaller but I kind of want to try something I want to kind of go in a circle anyway I'm gonna put our gold in just a very thin amount and some of that nickel as a gold again there you think I have too much paint on there <laughs> so possibly I had too much of a pillow all right yeah, I'm going to take our cell activator and get the ready. Okay, I'm going to take our cell activator, Amsterdam Black and, Amazon, and uh, Australian Floetrol. I'll coat the back of the spatula. Okay, now we're going to kind of do like a S shape, I think. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, ma'am, I'm ready. Here we go. pillow paint on this side right there and maybe the edge over there. I just dripped on it. That's nice. Okay. Alright. Let's spin this out and see what happens. Are you ready, darling? Yes, my love. So yeah, obviously way too much paint. We're going to spin this again, but that's looking awesome. That's so cool in there. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Maybe not quite so fast this time. <laughs> okay, we're going to keep going. That's really pretty. <laughs> Let's uh, put that down into the mirror, and we'll do another one. Oh, that's really cool. All right. Okay. Let's do this other one too. So this time, I definitely want a smaller pillow, and I want to put less paint on there. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I must. I am ready. Here we go. That's so 
pretty. These are so pretty, the back of the spatula, and like these start selling out. <laughs> this makes me laugh. So funny. Okay, this is looking cool. Alright, let's just put a little bit of the pillow paint around the edges. I think I'm gonna rub some into the sides as well. This is looking very pretty though. Are you ready, darling? Yes, ma'am. Oh, just a touch. <laughs> This one's gonna work out so good. What do you think it looks cool? I'm not sure if I like that gray thing in the middle. Every time I spin it, it gets bigger. think we should do it again. I kind of think we should do it again. Then I think we should do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I feel that edges. I don't know, it is pretty cool though. Something. Yeah, I'm not completely crazy about this one. I'm not crazy about how I think I spun it a little bit too much. This part is looking really cool, but this is a little pale and washed out for me. Maybe we can actually do it using less paint this time. <laughs> Spin till you win, baby. <laughs> That's funny right there. Okay, we're gonna do a smaller puddle. We're gonna do just a small spiral. Okay. 
sure you get all the white paint off of there. Okay. Because otherwise your black cell activator turns gray. <laughs> with the black lacing on it is really, really pretty to me. Okay, that's awesome. I think we're gonna stop there. <laughs> so that was a lot of fun. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys like the bloom swipes. If there's any colors you'd like to see me play with, please let me know, because I am kind of in this zone right now and really having fun with it. And I will do other stuff as well too, but just this is what's making me like super excited and happy and giddy right now, so. I hope you guys are having fun too. All right, I will show you all of these when they are dry. Thank you so much for being here with us. I'll see you soon. Okay, so this is the next day, and this is actually one of the most awesome things about the house paint is that it dries pretty much overnight. <laughs> so I get to show you guys really quick. So this was the 16 by 16 that we did. The Bloom Swipe with our Permanent Deep Maroon and the Nicolazzo Gold from Goldens and that Modern Masters Olympic Gold. So it turned out pretty cool. I love so many different parts of this. I really like the maroon and I love that it has this gradient that it can be kind of light and soft, but it can also be pretty dark. I love these cells in here. I like the softer part up at the top, the sort of peachy color from the Nicolazzo gold and the white and the gold blending. And then the stronger colors again down here, really, really cool. So this one is really interesting. This was the two swipes we did and that gave us that center section that was sort of softer and traveled like a cascade. So this piece is actually gonna be called Pomegranate Cascade because I've been thinking of pomegranate seeds <laughs> ever since I started playing with these. But I really like this one. Very soft, but there's some bold colors. I like the negative space on it. Very cool piece. And I wanted to show you the other ones. There's two lizards over there. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah. <laughs> It's lizard season here. So the other thing I wanted to show you guys were these, the other pieces that I've been doing. But before we do that, I just wanted to show you this because this is like the cutest thing ever. My friend Taryn made this for me a while ago. It's a truck and it's got these cactus in there and they're all blooming. These little crowns, so cute. Anyway, <laughs> okay, so so you guys can see. This was one of the first, I think this was the first one we did, the 7x7 7 7 MDF, which came out really pretty. I love those colors up there in the corner. I like this S-shaped swoop. This is the most interesting part to me though, how the Nicolazzo gold really blended with the maroon there and gave us that like almost burnt orange color, which is really pretty. 
I really like this one. And this one is beautiful. This was the other 7 inch MDF that we did on camera. I like this one because it's got a lot of that black lacing over the white, which just really makes the colors pop. Beautiful lacing too. Really, really, I, just, I love this. It's so pretty to me. It's great in there. Awesome. So some of these, <laughs> the other ones that I did when I was figuring out composition and what I like. And I think my biggest challenge with this technique is definitely less is more. And I like more is more. So it's been challenging for me to have more self-control and be really cognizant of how much paint I put on there because I do want to spin it out. I think this is like really awesome when they get spun out and you see all these like lines opening up. And it's just this color gradient. That's so cool. There's the Nicolazzo gold and then the gold and then the maroon. I keep wanting to call it pomegranate, but it's not. <laughs> I kind of see a duck right there. This one turned out really pretty too. These are 9 by 12s. I think these are Arteza panels. But this one has some really beautiful, this gorgeous lacing and blending of the colors in there. But this part, this part is just right in here where you really see that Olympic gold sparkling. I hope you guys can see it sparkling. I hope it's in focus. <laughs> but just very, very pretty colors. And you know, figuring out composition and technique and and I really do like these spun out so using less paint is definitely important for me so that I can spin them out because if I don't then it gets all just too much so this was really fun I really I love these bloom swipes I think they're gorgeous and I'm really enjoying them I hope you guys are too so this is cool this one is pomegranate cascade I guess and friends <laughs> And uh, I don't know, that's awesome. Thank you guys so much for being here with us. I will see you for the next one. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye-bye.